We all have been told there are seven continents, North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Antarctica, Australia, slash Oceania. Until recently, no one thought there might be an eighth continent. Yes, you heard it right. This is what the recent discovery is, but where is this continent? What has been found here? This will be covered in this video. Discovery of Zealandia It took scientists 375 years to find the eighth continent on Earth, which had been hidden from everyone's eyes for so long. But the mystery surrounding the landmass remains. In 1642, Abel Tasman decided to go on a mission. The veteran Dutch sailor, sporting a bushy mustache, thick beard, and penchant for harsh justice, he later tried to hang some of his crew for drunkenness, was convinced of the existence of a vast continent in the southern hemisphere, and was determined to find one. At that time, much of this world was still a mystery to Europeans, but they believed there must be a large landmass, formerly called Terra Australis, which would balance their continent to the north. Its fixation goes back to ancient Rome, but it has only been put to the test. On August 14, Tasman sailed from his company's base in Jakarta, Indonesia, in two small boats and headed west, then south, then east, eventually landing on New Zealand's South Island. His first encounter with the local Maori, thought to have settled there centuries earlier, did not go well. On the second day, several canoes rammed into a small boat passing messages between Dutch ships. Four Europeans died. The Europeans then fired cannon fire at the other 11 canoes. It is unknown what happened to their targets. And that was the end of his mission. Tasman nicknamed the faithful with a hint of irony, Mortnar's Killer Bay, and sailed home a few weeks later without even setting foot on this new land. Even though he thought he had discovered the great southern continent, it wasn't the commercial utopia he had envisioned. He didn't come back. Tasman had no idea he had been right all along a lost continent, formation of Zealandia. But how did the mysterious continent form? Zealandia formed about 85 million years ago from the collapse of the supercontinent Gondwana, Mortimer said. At that time, an ocean formed between Australia and New Zealand. This stretching essentially thins the continental crust, causing it to sink more than the thicker continental crust, which tends to float, he said. Compared to other continents, Zealandia is small. At 1.8 million square miles, it is slightly larger than India and half the size of Europe. And while only a fraction of the continent is currently above water, at one point, its footprint was even smaller. Based on geological strata found in New Zealand, the continent reached its maximum flooding about 30 million years ago, Mortimer said. Now the movement of the Australian plate is cutting Zealandia in two, which should split the continent in tens of millions of years. Mortimer said. News about dinosaurs in Zealandia. Land animal fossils are rare in the southern hemisphere. Still, the remains of several were discovered in New Zealand in the 1990s, including the roots of a giant, long-tailed, long-necked dinosaur, a herbivorous-billed dinosaur, and an armored dinosaur. Then, in 2006, the leg bones of a large carnivore, possibly a species of Allosaurus, were found in the Chatham Islands about 500 miles east of the South Island. Most importantly, all the fossils come from the split of the continent of Zealandia from Gondwana. However, this doesn't mean that dinosaurs roamed most of Zealandia. These islands were probably a haven while the rest sank as they do now. The plot deepens with one of New Zealand's strangest and most beloved inhabitants, the kiwi, a fuzzy, flightless bird with whiskers and hair-like feathers. Oddly enough, its closest relatives are believed to be not Moes, who were part of the same group, Ratites, and lived on the same island until their extinction 500 years ago, and even giant elephant birds that hid in the jungles of Madagascar before 800 years. The discovery led scientists to believe that both birds evolved from a common ancestor in Gondwana. It took 130 million years to disintegrate entirely. Still, when it did, it left behind pieces scattered around the world, forming Africa, South America, Madagascar, Australia, Antarctica, the Arabian Peninsula, the Indian subcontinent, and Zealand. This, in turn, suggests that at least part of the now-submerged Zealandia remained above sea level at all times. 
Except for about 25 million years ago, the entire continent, possibly even the whole of New Zealand, is believed to have been underwater. What do you think about this video? Share your thoughts in the comments. Like this video and subscribe our channel for more amazing videos like this. Thanks for watching.